Knock, knock. Who's there? Still to. Still to who? Still to Heim to use the code word poundcast30 to get 30% off, Brent. He got me on that one. On your, on your entire order at lvjco.com. What is lvjco.com, Brent? You're probably, you're probably asking, what is that? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. lvjco.com, who? <laughs> no, that's not even a, that's not even a knock knock joke, but okay. Knock knock. Who's there? lvjco.com. lvjco.com, who? lvjco.com, who is where you can get, <laughs> it's where you could get Louisville vegan jerky, our favorite jerky, Brent. And uh, so check this out. They've been sponsoring us for a while. And if you're a Poundcast listener and you've been on the fence, you have till December 31st. And I know this comes out on the 30th and even earlier for our Patreon subscribers. But if you use the uh, the code word Poundcast30 at checkout, you get 30% off, okay? The entire order. So oh. I don't know what you're waiting for at this point. And uh, another thing about LVJ Co., that we should mention is that they have a new flavor called honey barbecue and uh, it's not using real honey. They use agave of course, cause it's vegan jerky and it benefits their amazing neighborhood that they live in. And you know what? I have a bag of it right here. I'm going to go grab it. Yeah, man. Go, you know what? Can I get a taste test right now? Yeah. Check this out, Brent. I want to see you do a taste test right Look now. At this. Right. It's a pretty cool. Yeah. Their neighborhood's called Shelby park. And uh, when you buy a bag of this, they're going to give a portion of sales up to 10,000 bucks for their Put one in your mouth right now. I'd be, I'd be glad to. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be honored. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, there it goes. It's in the mouth. It's mm. in the mouth. I can see yeah, your face. Thumbs up. And you know, this is, this is a good flavor. This should be a forever flavor, in my opinion, but we'll see. Doug, maybe, you're glowing. Maybe one day. You're glowing right now after you put that thing in your mouth. That oh, that's good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Poundcast 30, um, you know the deal. Louisville Vegan Jerky is uh, made in Louisville, bagged in the United States. It has a shelf life of nine months. Uh. And they've got all these non-GMO. I mean, it's plant-based jerky and it's a perfect snack that you're going to, if so, if you buy one now, you got what till September to eat it, you know, if it comes in January. So, you know, and also there's all these other cool flavors too coming out, you know, like cowboy steak. And, um, I mean, I've got them shoot. We have all these bags and these new flavors and it's so exciting. Uh, Actually, all these, I have some of those at home. I'm actually at my parents' house right now. Right. We're going to get into that in a little bit. We'll get bit, into but, that in a second. Um, but anyway, but bottom general, line is check general, out. Yeah. What else do you have to say? Brent? Well, General Sows is going to be a forever flare, just so you know. I mean, I don't know if you'd heard the word on the street, but General Sows, I'm um, going to be a forever I heard about flavor. that starting in December, which is now. So General Sows is a, another great flavor. So um, look, use the code word pound get, poundcast30 at lvjco.com. And, and it, Check if, this out. If if it's if you're listening to this and it's not December anymore, just use the code word podcast and get 20% off. That's still a huge discount. It's a better discount than most things. Yeah. So I was, you know, I'm sure you, you might have done some Christmas holiday shopping and nothing's 30% off. <laughs> Nothing good. <laughs> uh, just some crap that they that no one bought. Um, so anyway, the Poundcast is brought to you by Louisville Vegan Foods, but it's also bought, it's also mostly brought to you by listeners and viewers like you. And uh, how does that work, Brent? Well, that well, is because we are that is because we have a Patreon, and that is patreon.com slash poundcast. Patreon is a way that you you sign up, it's a way that you kind of subscribe in a way, as if it's a service in a way you subscribe to our podcast and you get bonus content through that. You basically get, you know, we usually record for about an hour and 
but then we do an extra half hour to an hour that you, so it's almost like you're getting you're getting a bonus episode in a sense or an extended episode and you yeah, know, and that, it's just that bonus... more, more more laughs, more yeah. company, more whatever, more p- thought provoking, hard hitting journalism, poundalism, and poundalism, uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, so that's how this that's what keeps this show rolling hardcore is uh, the the Patreon page. So check it out, patreon.com slash poundcast. And you get instant access to all the old bonus episodes, which are, which are called Unzipped. And uh, yeah, so you get access to everything, the whole back. Actually, you, not only do you get access to Unzipped, you get access to After Dark if you want to get even older episodes. <laughs> That's true. Uh, the older bonus episodes are After Dark, and then we start going Unzipped. Mm-hmm. After Dark so... wasn't hardcore enough, then we went Unzipped. <laughs> it's usually when we go for the Patreon unzipped uh bonus episode we get a little more nasty <laughs> <laughs> so that's really something to check out everybody um uh you know when you eat beef jerky or um plant-based jerky like this yeah you know, it always gets stuck in your teeth right look at this <laughs> life hack <laughs> you just put the bag the corner of the bag if, if you want to see what fixed, doug has fixed it if you want to see what Doug is doing right now and see how he innovatively used the Louisville vegan jerky bag uh, to uh, help him get out, get some uh, stuff out of his teeth, you can check out youtube.com slash the poundcast and you can watch video of this episode if you want. If you're into video, you know, you like videos, check it out. Um, you can see video clips sometimes on instagram.com slash the poundcast or Twitter dot com slash the poundcast <laughs> like and, you're saying it you're like you're not sure <laughs> no i i am i'm sure i just want to i'm kind of trying to tease the audience a little bit i'm trying to I'm, I'm being coy you know okay um and then there's also a tiktok channel now we have that's the poundcast as well on tiktok tiktok.com slash at the poundcast i guess and uh so there's clips on there there's clips everywhere there's clips everywhere <laughs> There's a lot of clips on the TikTok. I'll tell you that much. You'll be busy for <clears throat> hours and hours there. Okay. Any any last words before we um, get into the main show? You know, I think not. I think we should just ball right in. All right. Ah 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 ah. ah. I knew so, it. I knew it. <laughs> I this is okay. This comes out on Friday. Uh, let me say this to you, listeners. Tomorrow night, New Year's Eve. Um, I've got, we're, I'm doing a show with Moshe Kasher, Natasha Legero, Sabrina Jaliz, Nick Thune, and Andrew Michon. It's at the Grand Lake Theater, and um, it is a New Year's Eve countdown show. It's at 10.30. Um, it might have been, it might be sold out at this point. I don't know, but check, check the website. Go to, just look it up, Grand Lake Theater. Uh, you go to their website, and it might be a little confusing because it, it looks like you're supposed to buy a, looks like you're supposed to you know buy a movie ticket a regular movie it's a movie theater that we do it in and it looks like you need to buy a ticket anyway whatever but it's not it's just you're buying a ticket for a, a live show and uh there'll be a live countdown and um balloon drop and it's the last time we're doing this show at least at that venue so check it out and it's the first time we're doing it in person since the pandemic started um yeah okay well, now that we get all the business out of the way, let's roll the clip and we'll get into the pound cast. Roll the clip. Roll it. Oh, I go this way. Oh, sorry. I'll go. Oh, I go. I go the normal way. Yeah, this way. I go this way. Okay, you go that way. I'll go. This way. Okay. Doug and Brad. Talking to each other, Doug and Brent. What will they talk about to Doug and Brent? Are talking to some pimples, Doug and Brent. We'll talk to their friends and Doug and Brent talking on the podcast. Well, listen, Doug. Um, hi. Uh, hi, Doug. Hi, Brent. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you. You look like you're in a 
comfortable parents house type of situation right yeah my mom really i'll give you a little view here in the laptop she decorates it i think she makes quilts i think that says some stuff in swedish or something oh wow got they got that little they got oh, that's a full-size tree right there now did she uh make that quilt uh, does she do a quilt every year a different quilt she does quilts all the time wow is that one a fresh quilt i have so many quilts at my house that she made i got too many quilts <laughs> too many quilts <laughs> sounds like a not a bad problem to have maybe i don't know <laughs> is, is uh and then you've got just that i don't know spacious kind of uh parent clean looking parents house look oh, yeah. right now look we got a little santa claus behind me we got you know some there's my dirty clothes there oops <laughs> and uh, yeah, i mean your basic parents house right here wow classic parents house wow lots of presents they're, they're not here the weird part is they're in england and i'm out here visiting my sister but they um let me use their car and stuff while i'm out here um, oh really what are they doing in england my brother-in-law is from england and they're doing christmas out there this year huh so you okay so you spent christmas with your sister uh -huh. and her family yeah i've been i've been doing really good uncle stuff all all weekend yeah, is that um, with the the nephew that you that we had on the podcast? Yeah, Cooper. Been hanging out with Cooper. He's doing good. Mm -hmm. So, did you? What did you do? That was cool. That was a cool uncle thing. I just been hanging out with them, and they're like really sweet. And you know, we play board games. I I got that game so Clover. Ah, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, I've been playing so Clover, and I got them into um, Snake Oil. Uh huh. But I got this expansion pack that's called like. I forgot what it's called, but it's called like nasty oil or something. You know, it's like the adult version. Bow constrictor oil. I mixed those cards into it. Uh, <laughs> it's unzipped. Yeah. Snake oil unzipped. Yeah. Um, I've been doing yeah. uncle stuff too, actually. Yeah, what have you been doing? Where are you at? You're at home now. Oh, well, I'm at home right now, but I've been going to where my mom lives and, you know, hanging out with family there. And, you know, my, I have this nephew who's a year and a half now, and um, I taught him something. I go like this to him. He goes, he, he can do this now automatically. I taught him to him this just recently. I go, if I go, da 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 ghosts. If I say that, he says busters. <laughs> it kind of sounds like this. Busters. Or, or it doesn't exactly sound like, but the R is not fully enunciated, but he's, he knows it though. He knows that. Does he that talk now. at all? Yeah, he says a lot of words. He knows a lot of words. He's always he points everything out. He says table. He'll hit the table. He'll table, or he'll you know pat the table. Table. Does um, he go like this? Pimple, knuckle. <laughs> I got it. He says buckle. He says <laughs> buckle because when he gets put in the high chair, he they buckle. He buckles. He can buckle himself into it. And, or if he's in a, uh, in the car seat, you know, he, he buckles himself. He'll say buckle. That's awesome. So I, I drove out here in my van and my van has a bed in the back so I can just sleep in it. Oh yeah. And, um, everyone thinks I'm crazy for doing that. Like, why don't you just fly? It's like a two and a half hour flight. But I was thinking, you know, I might've made the right choice because all these flights are getting canceled and stuff. Yeah. Um, you like to drive though, right? It's sort of, I like, it's kind of like an adventure, you know, my van is like 30 years old or older and, um, but you know, hadn't had a problem with it, but I slept in it two nights on the way here. Cause I left at night the first night and then where'd you sleep like, the first in night? like rest areas. But the second night was in like San, uh, not like near Santa Fe. Oh, and it was freezing. I had a, I have a super warm sleeping bag, but then I had two blankets on top of it. But when I woke up, by the time by six by the time six a.m. rolled around, I was basically getting cold, and <laughs> it was freezing in there um, because my but my water bottle was frozen. I tipped it over, and it was just so frozen. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh! It was yeah. fully frozen. Yeah. Well, maybe not solid, but it was like frozen enough that you tip it over and it just looks like it's 
man. So you oh. were essentially I was sleeping, sleeping in, a in an ice in a freezer, an ice box, and you just had blankets to sort of try to keep you warm. Yikes. Yeah, I stopped at a couple of skate parks on the way out. You know, after you drive for a few hours, you go skate for a minute. And then um Yeah, so that was fun. Did you um was your nose really cold? Mm, no, my nose doesn't get cold. I heard this. This is, I don't know. Uh, I heard I heard about this on the radio that you're when viruses and things they go a lot of times they go through into your nostrils, right? They go into your nose. And there's these things that I guess our bodies release through our nose and it's kind of like a swarm, a, a hornet's nest or something. When a virus comes in there, it kind of shakes the nest and these things come out of the nostrils or out of the body and attack the virus. And it's called boogers. what? It's called boogers. <laughs> yeah, these boogers come out and they attack. And they it's one of the few things that we release to attack things before they actually enter our system. You know what I mean? Because usually stuff enters our system, then it will get attacked, you know, or whatever. But this actually leaves our body. I mean, it's all happening in the nostril area. You're on the front lines. Yeah. And, but apparently if it's cold or if your nose is cold, the these hornets or whatever you want to call them, they are not, they're 50% less uh, effective or active. And so that's a reason why, you know, maybe it's one of the reasons people get sick when it's, they're cold is because they're no, if their nose is cold, that will, and it's another reason why masks have been helpful. Supposedly, maybe that masks is helpful because they have masks, not only are they blocking the air, but it's, or filtering the air, but they are keeping your nose warmer or they're keeping that area warmer supposedly maybe there needs to be a new product that's just like a nose warmer you know you got mm -hmm. the earmuffs just like a little strip that goes here big fuzzy thing it, yeah or it could be kind of like a clown nose. you know it's like a clown nose situation but you can have different varieties of different kinds of noses you can make you can get yeah you can get a nose with a mustache on it too you know so that you can have a mustache instant mustache maybe people can pierce their noses and then connect to the little hoops that they pierce with <laughs> A little like mini scarf around the nose. Well, what if you started doing? Um, you could look like Humpty Hump from Digital Underground, or you know, get and you could look like Groucho Marx or something like that. Yeah. What if like different? What if that was the new accessory of the the next year, two thousand twenty three? Yeah, the next hot accessory. Nose warmers. <laughs> exactly. Yeah that's the, that could be the new masks, you know, there's no nose, nose masks, you know, just keeping the nose warm. I mean, you can still breathe. Maybe there's holes for the nostrils, you know? Mm. Mm -hmm. Um, um, anything else you want to talk about? Because I got some, I got some material here to go through. There's a lot of stuff. I mean, first of all, I have a, I have an annoyance thing to talk about, you know? Okay. But I also, even before that, I mean, I don't know. It's New Year. New Year's is coming up. I mean, are we talking resolutions or anything like that? Are you, what's going on in that world, you know? I mean, you know, it is weird because I don't like sit and think I got to come up with a resolution. But I guess when I look back at the year, I think I could do things better or something, you know? Are you going to make a resolution to get a haircut for this new year? Or? I'll make a resolution to never cut it. <laughs> um no i i don't know it is kind of gross but it's wet right now so it doesn't look that great but actually it, it looks shorter like a, it, i did sh cut the short the, the oh. bang short a little huh. so it's kind of got some bangs in the front but um you know i will say this you're got kind of an 80s i got kind of like an 80s 70s look going on you do look like I will say this. It does make you look a little older, actually. The longer hair. See, now I finally get the respect I want. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So resolutions. I don't know. I have like a lot of things I want. I want to do. You know, season four of Pound House. Uh -huh. Do uh, you know? I want to make more um, creative stuff. I want to be. Uh, you know, find uh, the love of my life and start my family. Is that true? 
Um, I don't know. No, I don't know. I'm not sure about all that, but <laughs> I don't know about starting a family, but maybe. Uh huh. I hear you. That's I mean, not like that's starting a family or something. I don't know if I need to do that. I mean, maybe I'm too old to get into that at this point, but really, you don't, wow. You feel that you might. Well, be then again, old. Mick Jagger just had a kid and he's like 80. Ah, Mick Jagger. I guess it's I, I, too old. Mick Jagger. Um, yeah. I mean, what's his name? People get kids late sometimes. I mean, I think David Lynch had a kid. It wasn't his first kid, but he had a kid. It was his first kid with his current wife. I think he had at 70 or something like that or 72 or something like that. Oh, really? I, I mean, I, I think as I recall, yeah, the kid was four years old and he was in his seventies, you know, or something like that. Are so, you going to change his diaper? <laughs> <laughs> it <That's>... stinks. <laughs> coachy, co coachy, coachy, co. <laughs> What if he's doing baby talk to the baby when he's <laughs> peek peekaboo 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 good, good morning it is 70 degrees in Los Angeles peekaboo peekaboo here comes the helicopter into your mouth <laughs> Um, I don't know. Resolution. Um, I probably got some, but you know, some of them are maybe personal or just, uh -huh, I, yeah. I just want to maybe be more healthy and uh, just be, you know, I'm always growing. I'm always learning. I'm always getting better. I'm always being a better person. And that's my goal is just to keep on that track and to, um, I don't know, make some cool, um, Make some make an impact on uh, on the know, youth. Impact on the youth. A pick no, impact know. on the youth. I just want to get these ideas out that we have and uh, make some funny stuff that makes people smile. Make make more good podcasts. Make more good office hours. Make some uh, make a movie. Make this and that. I don't know. Nothing nothing specific. I just want to keep keep doing stuff. Maybe make it. Maybe do more. Uh huh. I don't know. Okay. Good. What about you? Oh no, I don't have resolutions because I'm I, I'm perfect as is, so mm -hmm. I don't really need to you know change, yeah. do anything. Oh, so else. you put me on the spot, like? No, I'm kidding. Uh, I I uh, do I have any resolutions? I mean, I, this is something. I mean, I am trying to make a little more effort to meet women. I mean, you know, I'm, when I say that, I, when I say meet women, I mean, you know, I, I don't mean that in a in a salacious kind of way is that the right word um but i mean i'm tr i i'm am trying to make a little more of an effort to yeah ma make a connection that could hopefully be something yeah because you but want it's to hard play. yeah you're not trying to be out there like a player you're trying to be no i'm not to trying to play you're, I'm not, you're, look, you're looking for a partner yeah and that's something i already tr started to try to make a little more of a concerted effort to do but it's hard to meet women i tell you you know it's you know look i would like to i would like to have a family i'd like to have kids right but um so you you know i mean it, it's it's hard to find the right balance if you know you gotta look find somebody who's you know young enough to you know want to be able to do that or ha you know be able to do that right but also, I I also uh, you know like to meet someone who's old enough to know the answer to the age old question, "Where's the beef?" Because <laughs> you know the, the questions like those are the ones I relate to. Well, so you get finding that. I'll balance. tell you where it's. Well, if if anyone's out there and they want to know where the beef is, it's at Wendy's. I think that's the. Well, you get, you're giving it away, huh? Spoiler okay. alert. Well. Maybe there's lots of other questions though. So <laughs> that's just, that's just question like, one. Such as who are you going to call? Who are yeah. you going to call? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to, I want to meet someone who knows who you're going to call mm -hmm. <laughs> or who you'll get, who are you going to call? You know, <laughs> <laughs> wants to know the answers to such questions as where's the beef and who are you going to call? <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that's really funny. Are there any other good questions like that? I mean, that's the 
this so so many songs are questions that never get answered and that was a bit i was gonna do where it's like who who let the dogs out and then like i think i might have done this where it's like brian did or whatever you know mm-hmm, you no did. one ever answers that you know right i'm trying to think of some other famous questions you know um you know uh well i mean who who can it be now you know <laughs> yeah or how will i how will i know by you know what is that um tina turner how wait, how's it go how will i know how if will you really... i know if you really love me yeah is that tina that no. Right? no that's dion warwick i don't know i don't think it's dion warwick i'm just um, looking it up here but how about how deep is your love <laughs> by the Bee Gees. yeah a deep if you ask me probably it's pretty shallow or right six now. inches or something <laughs> <laughs> six inches <laughs> hey that's what that must mean i guess right <laughs> it must mean well, that it's the man is asking it to the woman in that song so well, well they're asking how big of a penis can she accept <laughs> <laughs> how big a penis can you accept you know, there's that song by uh, Minnie Riperton or Minnie Riperton sings it called. How, about, uh, Ins- how am I supposed to? Wait, oh, yeah, what are you saying? Uh, Inside my love, you know that one. That's uh, a code. That's code for inside my vagina or whatever. Yeah. How about this song? Who's gonna drive you home tonight? Well, who does that? The cars. It's funny because they're called the cars, and it's like, <laughs> well, I'm in the cars. I could drive you home. Wanted, you know, I could. I, I'm the cars. <laughs> I'm in. Like, I'm I'm in the cars. So it seems like you should just get a ride with me. I guess. I think know? that's the cars. Yeah. You know, it's good. The cars and Tom Petty. I just heard a Tom Petty song on the radio, and I was like, that's good. Oh yeah. Yeah, what was that song? Wait, did you just say that Tom Petty was in the cars? No, no. I was I think I was in my I was in a car listening uh-huh. to the radio and I heard Tom Petty. Oh, so he was in the in your car. <laughs> Petty was in my car. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you how will actually... I know is is Whitney Houston. Aha, uh-huh, right, right. Okay, yeah, that's right. Now, of course, of course. Of course it is. And Dionne Warwick sings, do you know the way to San Jose? Well, of course she does. She sings do that and she sings uh walk my you know, walk on by, which I love. I love walk on by. Um, that's what friends are for. So Brent, if you are dating a woman and she's like, This isn't working out, you could say, Do you really wanna hurt me? <laughs> do you really want to make me cry? hmm Could do that. And then she'll be like, well, should I stay or should I go? <laughs> right, 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 right. There's a lot of ones here. And then you'll be like, why do fools fall in love? Because I really made a mistake, I think. <laughs> and then she'll be like, what's going on? <laughs> I mean, and, then, and then you'll be talking to your boys. Four, non, four like, non blondes? What's going be, on? No, Marvin Gaye. What's going oh. on? Oh. And then, oh, that, and then. Yeah, then what's going? <laughs> <laughs> I think that song's actually called What's Up, but Yeah, I know. The lyric goes, What's what's going on? They're probably like, you know, there's already a song called What's Going On, so you probably want to change the title of that. Yeah. And then it's you'll funny. be with your boys later being like, um, you know, isn't she lovely? <laughs> right. And then you'll be like, wouldn't it be nice if we <laughs> If we were older, I want to look at this list. Where where is this list? <laughs> what's and then she'd be like, "What's love got to do with it?" Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then she says, "Then she says to me, you know, why can't we be friends?" Yeah. And then you and then you'd be like, and then it goes like this. Then you go, "Well, who's going to drive you home tonight?" And she goes, "Are you going to go my way?" <laughs> Are you going to go my way? <laughs> and then I say, and then we kind of just leave for a while. And then I just, you know, we stop talking for a little bit. And then later I, I, 
I hear a knock on the door and I say, who, or she, she starts knocking on my door and I'm not answering. And she goes, can you, can you hear me knocking? And then you go, just, just zoom me. And then you'd be like, well, who's zooming who? You know, there's a song who's zooming who? I don't know that one. And then you'd be like, wait a minute, who are you? <laughs> who, who? <And> then, <laughs> she'll say she met somebody else and I'll say, who is it? You know, who is it? Who is no. it? I, I I actually sing when I say the phrase "Who is it?" or even "What is it?" I'll sing it in the style of a, of that song. Who is it? Who is it? What is it? And then if the date goes good, you can be like, "Do you think I'm sexy? Can you love my body?" And then um, I'll be like jealous of you and your new girlfriend, and I'll be like. Is she really going out with him? <laughs> Do you know that song? Yeah. It's a Joe Jackson. I used to right? hate that song. Joe Jackson, right? Yeah. First of all, Joe Jackson is very good. No, he's very good. That song particularly, I think it's a little Oh hey, I I'm that's not fine. my favorite. Okay. That's fine for you to say that, yeah. Um uh and then you'll ask me, are you lonesome tonight? You know who that is? Is that Morrissey or, or something? Um, Elvis. Oh, okay. Oh, close in a way. There's a lot of songs here. Jeez. I'm thinking, where is my mind? How soon is now? Is there life on Mars? That's what Elon Musk is at. <laughs> That's what his dates are asking him. Right. By the way, I'm going off of my thing. I'm not even looking at a list. I'm just doing them. You're good. Yeah. But let me say this. Okay. I've got an annoying thing here or what, something like that. I, and, by the way, I posted on Instagram, send us your annoyances. I did another one of those and I got a ton. So we can go through those after your annoyance. Okay. I'll let me kick this off. Um, kick it off. So let's talk about the hospital and when you go to a hospital. All right. Have you been there recently? I was, I was at the hospital re kind of recently and not, cause um, of you. not, not me. I was visiting someone yeah. in the hospital and you know, they charge for parking in the hospital. Well, here's what it is. It's kind of annoying. The first hour is free and then they charge after that. Right. And I just thought to myself, why are they doing this? And so, okay, I didn't want to pay for the parking there. So after an hour, I had to go leave the, the lot and then come back in, you know? What's the, why making, why are you making me do this? You know, first of all, why are you even charging at all to be at the hospital? I mean, nobody wants to be at the hospital. You, okay, if you want to charge for parking for somewhere where people want to be, that sort of makes a little more sense. But the person in the hospital doesn't want to be there, okay? or the patient, you don't really want to be seeing that person in those circumstances. I mean, you want to visit them to support them or whatever, but you don't want to, you know, you don't really want, you don't want them to be in there. Nobody wants to be at the hospital is my point. And yet they're charging for parking. That seems a little exploitative. I think it's almost like they're using, you know, the person, your loved one or your, whatever, your friend, they're using their misfortune to make money off of them by charging it's almost like they're charging for you to see this person as if there's some sort of in a freak show or something. Something's wrong about that. I think charging for parking at a parking lot, I mean, for, at a hospital, there's something wrong about that. Uh, and so I'm trying to figure out a way to, to beat that system. Do you, first of all, do you not agree? Um, I, I, yeah, I, I feel the same way. I go to my doctor sometimes and it's the same thing. The first hour is free, but it's like, really, you're getting a little side hustle on my parking here, but maybe, I mean, as devil's advocate, maybe depending on where the hospital is, maybe if it was free, people would take advantage of it and just park there. And then like patients who really need to get in, there's like all these freeloaders just parking there or something, but well, I'm saying maybe avoid, there should be to avoid that. You just get you know, you get your parking validated by the doctor or something. <laughs> something like that. They should make, yeah. I mean, 
or there's this, if there's a system they could work out where if you've got somebody you're visiting and they're a patient there or they're in the hospital and then that's the only people who can park there for free or they, that's the only people who can park there period. But I just think the idea of, you know, nobody wants to be at the hospital really. And yet you're charging for us to be there. That's, that ain't right. And so I was thinking, is there a solution, a creative solution for this? You know? And I thought, well, if you're going to charge for parking, I don't know where this is going exactly. Maybe you can figure this out for me. Is there a way to make the hospital an attraction I do want to park at and pay and be okay with parking for? You know what I mean? Is there a way to turn my loved one or whatever or friend or whoever? Can I make them entertaining and the visit entertaining in some way that I'm thinking I do want to park here because and I I'm happy to park here because it's there's something entertaining or something is it what, what can we do here you know yeah well let's make hospitals more fun you know you so some, we should install things video games in there and like yeah you know people are shuffling around maybe you can have shuffleboard <laughs> or like you can have you know people have walkers and stuff you can have well i guess for the visitor they want to have something that has not have to do with perhaps being unable to walk great or something, but it could be game. There could be games going on and like raffles and. How about this? Clowns. What if I, what if I start going. Comedians go, go room to room. Who what? Comedians? And have comedians go room to room. Hey, do you guys want a little five minute uh, set? <laughs> hey. You so know, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of. It's, it's kind of like you're in a casino or like Vegas. There's like different shows going on. Empty. Empty uh, rooms could be, you know, performers can just go in there and set up shop and do little magic shows or. Yeah. Uh, you know, comedians are desperate for stage time. So, Hey, look, we've got, we got comics here that'll perform for you. Yeah. I was thinking maybe I could start wearing a circus kind of host outfit when I go there, you know, and start kind of presenting the, the patients there in a way where I don't know. Was something, I got an yeah. idea, Brent. This yeah. will kill two birds for you. You know, it's it's difficult to meet. You know, people of the well, I want to say opposite sex, but people of the sex that you you know, it's, it's hard to be, meet single people you want to meet, right? Mm -hmm. You're at the hospital. You have something in common. Maybe there's like a little after you you know visit your loved one, you can go to this little lounge and it's like. You know, there's little snacks and stuff. And, hey, I like this. I like you know, where this it's is like going. you have something in common. You could like, you know, talk about, oh yeah, my loved one is got, you know, she's got a broken brain, and you know, oh yeah, my my sister's over here, and hey. her, her elbow is all dusty, and you know, this is a good, really good idea. Now we're getting, now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, I make it a could, place, we, a destination. Instead of going to a bar, you go to a hospital. Well, it's. It's let's call it say Doug and Brent's or even just Doug's hospital and singles bar, you know, or something like that. It's a, it's a singles hangout. How about St. Cupid's? St. Cupid's. Yeah. Maybe all the staff or maybe all the staff is single and they're looking to mingle. So, but yeah, you can meet nurses and doctors. nurses and doctors. I would love yeah, to meet a doctor. A lot of ladies want to meet a doctor. A lot of guys want to meet a doctor. I want to meet a doctor. You can. Yeah. Meet Imagine if you were married to a doctor. I mean, you, you never have to go to the doctor again. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the doctor every night. Yeah. I, go to the, I get checked out every night. You know? Yeah. Time for your checkup. I'm getting checked or I'm getting my checkup every night. Yeah. All right. Drop your drawers. <laughs> okay. Wait, cough. She's having me cough every night, you know, <laughs> and I'm into it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Turn my head and cough. <laughs> um, but, uh, no, I, I, that'd be kind of cool, man. Get a doctor going, you know, love to get a doctor wife. That'd be kind of cool. You know, doctor yeah. wife. <laughs> <laughs> this is my wife, doctor wife. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think that's a really cool idea though. A singles hospital. What I mean by that is the patients aren't single, but the staff is, and you can only what if the patients are too. Well, what if, you, what if you can go and, you know, say hi and visit certain patients say they 
they want, you know, to meet strangers and, you know, they could put up, press a button and there's a light on their door. It's green. That means like anyone can come in and say hi and check out my broken leg and you can meet new people. Hey, that's not a bad idea. They can bond on their kind of uh, injuries or problems or whatever. You know? Yeah, I could see this backfiring though, because then say somebody wants an excuse to go there, they might, you know, um, what's that syndrome where it's like von Munchausen syndrome? Where they von Munchausen. keep they keep someone sick on purpose so then they can they can be the hero uh, you know they, oh, they, they right. have a reason to go to the hospital all the time to like right, that's right, their favorite right. like singles bar right <laughs> <laughs> or they 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 get themselves hurt so they can go to the you know that's a that sounds like a rom-com idea you know somebody right. who's like a skateboarder that keeps injuring himself on purpose so he can because he's like this one doctor he likes right so you've seen the, the doctor or a nurse or something that is an interesting That's romantic comedy movie. idea. Definitely. Uh, somebody who's, he has a crush on his daughter. He goes in for a physical checkup uh -huh. and he's just head over heels for his, his physician. By the way, do you have a female doctor or male? Yes. Check this out. It's called head over heels. And then he goes head over heels on his bike to like, you know, <laughs> to yeah. get hurt. <laughs> well, do, are, do you I, have... I have a male doctor. Yeah, I, I, have, I barely see like every six months or something. I generally, I used to go, you have female doctors. Yeah, and well, anyway, no, I I currently do have a male doctor, but um, but yeah, that's an interesting idea to just the guy keeps on having if or whatever if it's he keeps on having to have excuses to go in there and just that's that's interesting, and he ends up. I mean, it could be actually a dark comedy, actually, where he ends up seriously injuring himself, you know, yeah. or worse, you know? Yeah, yeah. It, it just escalates more and more until, you know, he... Then he's in a full body cast, you know, like... <laughs> or worse. He's dead. <laughs> could be. <laughs> it's kind of like the... Um, I've probably I brought this up in the past, but... There is a, I want to say Mingus, I think it is, Charles Mingus. There's a, it's called The Clown or something like that, I think. It's this jazz piece, and there's it's a spoken word thing with jazz music, and it's, um, God, it's like someone like Ken Nordine or something like that, but they, no, I don't think that's it, but anyway, it's about this, this story about this comedian who wasn't getting any laughs, and then something happens where he accidentally hurts himself on stage, and people laugh at it a lot, and so then he starts making that his act, where he would hurt himself, and then, I'll spoil it, his biggest show happens, and, um, you know, he, he's getting, re he's gotten really popular at this point, but he finally eventually kills himself as his big act, and he, he hurts himself so much that he kills himself, and, you know, so that's what happens. But anyway, it's an interesting, cool piece. Yeah. Okay. Oh, anyway. Um, well, I think we got that solved. That, you know, you're right. That is single. A couple of these before we get too late here. Like, Cause I have uh, tons of these submissions. Okay. Yeah. And I also, there's, I have these voice messages too uh, from people. So yeah. I'll do one annoyance and then we'll do a voicemail. I mean, these are all. Okay. Sounds good. And they're just random here. Okay, here's a pretty basic one from Michael. He says he's annoyed by folks coughing without covering their mouth. Oh, I mean, of course. I have a great solution for this. And I should probably go on Shark Tank and sell it. You know how um, it's like a selfie stick, but it's got like a mask on it. So you can go up to other people. <laughs> And they, they, they're not wearing a mask or they're coughing. You can just like hold, like they want to talk to you. You just kind of like hold the stick up and imagine like there's a mask on it. It just kind of like, you just selfie stick over their mouth. Okay. Yeah. Nice to talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> and they're coughing and you can kind of just like aim the stick around and block it. And then if they say, Hey, who else have you used that mask on? That's gross. And I say, well, if you don't want me using that, my mask, you should be covering your mouth. Yeah, Exactly. I mean, you don't want me using the self, the, the, you don't want me using this, the shared mask and get it. You know what else too? I, what about when people cough onto their hand? Don't people know at this point to not do that? 
Well, that's a little, that's at least a something, but I mean, I'm going full elbow, you know? Yeah. Go in that elbow. elbow. Yeah. You gotta go elbow. In the inner elbow too. The hand at least block, at least does a little something, but. I saw this happen a couple times. I saw somebody wearing a mask and then I don't know why they were doing this. They, they either sneeze or cough, but they took off their mask to sneeze or cough. They, they took it off. They, <laughs> they're wearing a mask. I say, what are you wearing a mask for? To do? It didn't make sense. Was, they take it off and they go, chew, and then they put it back on. I was like, what? Well, they don't want that, that booger all over that thing that's right in their mouth. Also, you ever done this before? You ever I been... get that, but they should go and they should chew into the sleeve. Well, you ever do, see this where you're sitting somewhere or whatever and someone's talking to someone and then they, they turn to you, to, they cough in your direction because you're in the <laughs> wrong spot. You ever done, had that happen? I've seen that. I mean, yeah, I've experienced I've seen that. that. I've, seen that. So, I've seen people do it at my house where they're like on my sofa and then they like just go, they like sneeze or cough at the floor. And I'm like, why are you doing that to my floor? <laughs> I know it's the floor, but like just cover, cover your damn mouth. Cover it all up. Sometimes I go in the shirt. I'm just like fully up here. Boom. That's the best way to go. It's fully well, trapped. Yeah, I like that. But that a shirt isn't is no, a little thin. You. Well, no, a shirt is a little thin. I do it. I do it. I sneeze inside that. But I I like no, to sneeze I'm, inside. I'm wearing a thermal these days. You know, that's a nice thick thermal. Well, I like to go thicker material kind of stuff. You know, like if you get a thick jacket and just cough into that or something like that. That's pretty. What if cool. there was some kind of thing, you, some kind of accessory? Imagine mm-hmm. just like a big wing on your shoulder, like a coughing cup, <laughs> like a big bowl shaped, like piece of felt on either shoulder. You just go, <laughs> <laughs> plus you look like a badass. You kind of look like some kind of like gladiator or something. <laughs> Here's an interesting one, Brent. See if we can decode this. People who announce their pet peeves and somehow recharge their energy through the act of complaining. <laughs> what in the world does that mean? Is that just a comment on this podcast? And you know, I said, what's something that annoys you? We'll fix it on the podcast. People who announce their pet peeves and somehow recharge their energy through the act of complaining. So someone who's like, you know what I don't like is when people park too close to me in the parking lot and then that recharges their energy i don't know let's skip that one i mean well no i mean hold on you didn't skip it but i i don't know people who who get who basically feed off of they feed they they, they announce their pet peeve but then they feed off of they they just want to like yeah they want to complain they feed on negativity they probably love to complain and they love to have pet peeves to well, there's only one pet peeve you can have. <clears throat> What's that? Well, because that's what a pet peeve is, is your main peeve. You know, it's your only one peeve. You can't have many peeves. You can have you many can pet have, peeves. I mean, you can have many peeves, but you can only have one pet peeve. I think you can have many pet peeves, many, like how you can have many pet cats. You can have many pet peeves. Isn't pet peeve mean your number one peeve? I don't think so. Oh, I, I thought that's what that was. I think pet peeves are just like exactly this this kind of thing, just little annoyances. This one's kind oh. of this is too meta. But I get it. Okay. Yeah, so basically what what Sippy is saying is uh, yeah, people who just like to complain and use that to I mean, I'm guilty of it a little bit because when you're hanging out with your friends, it's kind of fun to complain about stuff. And it's more of just like, um, not to be negative, but more of like, can you believe that? You know, whatever, just to have oh, something I, like I, someone to agree with, like, so, you know, but I don't like the, the thing that annoys me to annoy me. I don't want that. You don't want it. But, you know, I do. I just like people to understand my point of view, I guess, on yeah, it. Yeah. Well, it know. makes you feel like we're you're on the same alone. page. Yeah. Yeah, and and feel connected to somebody to say, yeah, I don't like that either. For example, going back to the dating thing, you know, I've been exploring these dating websites, and gosh, every single person has a pets. You know, I, speaking of pets, um, and I just am not a pet person. I want to be on the same page with somebody who doesn't. It's so hard. We we talked about this already on uh, the another episode. But it is yeah, we talked about a lot of pet pet stuff. Yeah, yeah. my pet peeve is pets. pets. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but 
it would be cool to be say, oh, you don't like pets either? Oh, wow, I'm con- I feel really connected to you, huh? Um, here's a good one here um, from Taylor. This says, when people wear pajama pants in public, Taylor does not like that. <laughs> that annoys pet Taylor. And, you know, I've been seeing more and more of this. I've been seeing it for years, since the 90s, easily. Yeah. I feel like I feel like there's more out there these days. It's always been around, but I see it a lot. Um, one thing, you could, how could we solve this annoyance? You could say, "What could Taylor do?" Taylor could say, "Hey, when you, when you go into bed, <laughs> or like, say that someone's at Target and they're wearing pajamas, um, you could go, whoa, whoa, be careful! They're sleepwalking. You know, like everybody, look out! They're sleepwalking." And, and then you like just, have, just stare at them, be like, wow, look at that's interesting. They look <laughs> like they're totally awake. And then they talk to you. And then um you could be like, Did you hear that? He he's talking to me too. Wow. You could wave your hand <laughs> act like they're their, asleep. Wave your <laughs> yeah. hand in front of their Whoa, face. <laughs> that's so cool. He can hear me. I'm in your dream right now. You know, act like you're in their dream. Yeah, that's solid. Uh, also, just do this. You could just you know, get a pot, like a pot of water and just put it on their hand in it or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Nah, let's see if we can get, yeah. Let's see if we can get them to pee in their sleep. <laughs> get a bowl of hot water. Try to you can also it. do this. You can just grab their shoulders and just hold them. So they're making, you know, because, oh, I thought you were sleeping. I wanted to make sure you didn't fall or trip or something. Oh, but you're wearing the pajamas. So I thought for sure you were sleeping. I, oh, yeah. Oh, I thought it was your bedtime. <laughs> What if you just force them to lay down? You know, you kind of just push them down onto the ground. And, or you can uh, go like this. Um, oh, sir, I'm, sir. Say it's a, you know, a guy. Sir, um, here, here's a dollar. You know, here, here's, you know, act like they can't afford pants or something. And hope, hopefully you'll get yourself a nice pair of Wranglers. This is all I can afford today, but happy holidays. I <laughs> like that. I like I like acting like they're asleep. <laughs> what okay. about I do too. I what about you act like it's a slumber party and you start saying you just go up to me and say so what do you want to do? You want to, you know, you want to play truth or dare, you know, or what, I don't know, you want to I don't know, you just start saying hey, do you want to braid each other's hair? <laughs> or you want to hey, you want to watch you want to do ghost stories? <laughs> Something like that. You just act like they're, they're Yeah, act like you're over. at the slumber party with them. Yeah. Hey, you want to go do seven minutes in heaven? <laughs> in in a, in housewares? You say seventy minutes? Seven. I meant to say seven. Seven minutes. I like seventy. I like seventy minutes in heaven. <laughs> hey, you know seven minutes in heaven? Do you want to do seventy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking we do seventy. <laughs> it still won't be enough time for me to do what I want to do. <laughs> you like look them up and down. You can't even hear me right now, right? Because you're sleeping. <laughs> and then, then act like they're, they're asleep. They can't hear what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so that one's solved. That's how about, good. How about this one? I'm not sure how to fix this, but he, Jacob doesn't like when people use too much tape when wrapping presents. He doesn't like using too much tape? When people use too much tape when wrapping presents. I'm trying to think of what so maybe, um, maybe I guess when he's opening a present that's overly taped, you know. Well, he should just become part of my family because I don't use that much tape when I wrap presents. In fact, I wrap pretty poorly. Yeah, I kind of I'm put a, a tab here, a little tab there. I just I don't, I, I don't make it all fancy. Yeah, I do a real minimal job wrapping because I know the stuff is going to get ripped off anyway. <laughs> I know that doesn't look very nice. It's not a very nice presentation, but yeah. Um, I guess you could just um, <laughs> you could just like have this like meltdown where you're like opening their present. And you're like, I can't get through this tape. You read my. I was gonna do the same thing. And yeah, just you just give up. Out, like, ah, like, you just help. give up. Give up on their present. And just yeah, say, just give I- up. Be like, I'm sorry, I can't open it. I'm sorry. There's just too much tape. I'm gonna have to open yeah. this up next year. I'll yeah. just go. It, I'll go year by year and open up a little bit of it year by year until I finally get the whole thing open. 
<laughs> or like whip out a big scary knife or, or like blowtorch or something to make a big scene out of it. Sorry, there's so much tape. Sorry, family. I have to do this. I'm, I apologize about the smell of melting plastic. And I know the fumes are toxic, but <clears throat> cousin uh, Jimmy just insists on using so much tape. Just goes super passive aggressive on it. You can also go fight fire with fire and just start putting tape. Wear tape. You wear tape on your body and your face. Actually, tape your face up <laughs> and just say, "Oh, you don't. Do you think this make it look weird? And make your nose kind of go up, you know, with the tape and all this stuff." And then he'll just. Oh, hold on! Someone's knocking on my door. Hold on a second. Oh, can you okay. pause it real quick? Yeah. So yeah, fight. Oops, fight fire with fire. I love that. Uh, yeah, you just go tape face. So and you're then, opening the present, and then you kind of like, you're like, I can't do it, and then you start taping your face up, and then cousin Jimmy would be like, What? What are you doing? What are you doing? No, and you'd be like, Well, you you use so much tape on your present that I can't open. Can I use tape on my face to just tape my face chalk? Because who cares about anything anymore? <laughs> Who cares about anything anymore? It's just so extreme with it. Like nothing matters anymore if you're going to tape presents that much. Well, I, or the idea is that he used too much tape, so you just start using too much tape in everything you do. There's tape everywhere. <laughs> you just become a tape, you know, you start putting tape all over your house and stuff. You know? <laughs> okay. So you and when he presents. goes in there, he says, God, there's too much tape. He say, yeah, there is in there. No, you, it's like you open the presents, then it's time for like Christmas dinner or whatever. Cousin Jimmy's like, can you pass the mashed potatoes? And you're like, sure, hold on. You start wrapping the potatoes with tape. He's like, what are you doing? And you, oh, I thought you liked stuff with like way too much tape on it. I'm just doing. What I think you, but it's clearly you like. Yeah. I guess you don't like like tons of tape. And then for, maybe for his present, just give me give him tape. <laughs> yeah. You know? I thought you loved tape. Yeah, here's just give him like a crappy like one thing of scotch tape. Like yeah, exactly. Clearly, you like tape, so. <laughs> oh, I thought you were a tape head. Oh no, like if you get a present that has too much tape on it, get some hardcore like gorilla tape or packing tape, and before you give them your the present you got for them, you like really quick like tape it up like it's Fort Knox. You're like, oh. <laughs> I thought this is how you like it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, right, just make it really hard. <laughs> or get like a big knife and be like, sorry, I got to use this big, scary Rambo knife to cut open this present and yeah, then destroy the present. You know, like start stabbing through it and you're just sawing it in half. He's like, no, no, no. That was a, I don't know what, what whatever what was it was. A pair of socks. You just like the socks up. Oh, it's, it's panties. Pillow. It's, pan panties, it's panties. Yeah, you cut the pads up, the panties up. <laughs> the pads. No, no, no. And be like, well, you taped it like this, so you did this. <laughs> I didn't do this. You did. You, you did this. <laughs> <laughs> and by you the way, presents are did. so. I'm I'm so sick of presents. We should have no more presents anymore. I kind of hear you on that. I know this I, is. I like. I think what it should be is Secret Santa style. Where you buy one present for one person. Cause like trying to buy and then people feel obligated to give, you know, people, you know, my family gave me some things and it's like I was like, I don't need anything. I asked for like one one thing that my mom got me. A water, like a big water, um, like a big water bottle that I wanted, like a 40 ouncer. I was like, I could use that. They have those at TJ Maxx. That's where she works. <laughs> I was like, give me one of those. But then I get all this other stuff that I don't want, you know? It's then it's I, like you I, just got this stuff and you got all this packaging, and it's sort of like, uh, I don't want no. any. I made a couple presents for um my niece and nephew, like some little hand carved wood things, because I got into wood carving last year, this year. And I made a couple spoons for my sister. I thought you know, those are family heirlooms, you know, those handmade items. That's how gifts in the future should be. Not just going to the mall and buying a pair of socks because you feel like you got to buy something. It you know, is not to sound like a, a present, But at the same time, have you ever gotten a present that like you didn't ask for? 
specifically something you want that you're like, oh, I, this is kind of cool. No, <laughs> rarely. I have gotten some stuff I didn't didn't want, want, but I ended up thinking, oh, this is good. But it's hard. It is pretty rare, and a lot of times you get stuff, and it just adds to stuff you're not going to use, and then you just you have it, and it's, and it's just, this thing you got to get rid of. It's like almost like, um, what am I going to do with this? And it's kind of sitting on a shelf, and then you're looking at it, and you're like, six months down the line, you're like, I guess I'm going to haul this to Goodwill with the rest of my Goodyear haul. But I see, know. I can't even, I'm not willing to, it's hard to do that because you think, oh, this person, this loved one, I know, gave me this. Now I don't want to get rid of it. And then you're just stuck with extra stuff, you know? Yeah. It just creates drunk. You know, that's how hordism become happens, you know? Hordism? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hordism. Hordism happens because of Christmas. <laughs> right? I don't, I don't know. Interesting. Well, I don't know. Kind of. It does for me a little bit. It's hard for me to get. You know what? I, I actually have trouble getting rid of. This is going to sound really silly, but so my sister when she, and, and my brothers, when they write the little note on the gift that says to, you know, whoever and from them or whatever, my sister in particular, she'll do really funny sort of messages on those, you know, and I don't want to throw it away. These little on the, the wrapping paper, not the wrapping paper, the little, you know, notes, you know? Yeah. For example, <laughs> she wrote this one recently. It said, you know, Mary X men. She, she wrote, you know, Mary X men. She wrote Mary X men and crossed out men. And she went, Oop, oops, mess. I mean, you know, or something <laughs> like that. And then yeah. she drew some funny face, you know, or, uh, on another one. And they're just funny little drawings of things. And I think, Oh, I, I don't want to get rid of this. You know, this is, this is, fun. I like this. is th These are funny. And I, I don't know. And I don't want to throw this away. So now I'm, co now I'm collecting all this trash. <laughs> um, well, I, I would hang on to that. I have a little drawer full of like fun little things like that, that I, yeah. Use. Well, me too. Yeah, I do. Um, I don't know. This one's okay from Daryl. Um, when your tooth when your toothpaste falls off your toothbrush before you can stuff it in your mouth. <laughs> uh, so you want to get it, I guess, Daryl, I mean, what I do, I mean, this isn't even a funny, funny solution, but I kind of aim it down in there. So the bristles are catching, it's going into, you, you understand what I'm saying? It's going into the bristles. It's not just laying on top, like it's a tooth paste commercial like aquafresh where it's just like a mound on top i'm uh injecting it into the bristles uh -huh. okay you understand uh-huh but you know what daryl you know what you could do just suck the toothpaste right out of the tube <sighs> your mouth then then start then go in with the brush or i how about this oh. you know how toothpaste usually has a cap that screws on it get a kind of a syringe type of thing that screw you take the cap off and then screw a, a syringe type thing on to the toothpaste and so that it it's more uh pointed you know there's a more a finer accurate uh, finer a like a finer put it in exit, a pastry bag a finer exit and then but no but you do what you did basically point that needle point the needle of this thing into the bristle into the bristles, not on top of the bristles, and squeeze, and then it's going to be in there. Here's like my you said. question. Here's my idea. Now, Daryl, you can take this idea and take it to Shark Tank, but it's a imagine a toothbrush, but at the end of it, you screw on the toothpaste, so it squeezes through the handle up into the bristles from the bottom. You know those, you know those like uh, dish, um, scrubbing things in the handle has the dish soap in it and then it goes into the sponge yeah almost like that yeah that's a, that's cool that's a good idea yeah thank you i mean so you and then when once the the toothpaste comes out do you take the paste off or do you leave it on while you're brushing i think it's just i don't know we'll figure that technology out maybe there's some kind of valve in there where it's not going to be you know spit and water isn't going to get in so every time you <laughs> It's just always on there. Maybe, maybe you can. It's a big fat handle that you put this toothpaste in, and then you give it a little pump, and it just pumps a little 
Um, Imagine you're brushing your teeth and the toothpaste is coming out as you brush. It's just, you know what I mean? Yeah, that is cool. As you, every brush you make, every brush you make, <laughs> every scrub you take. Have a, okay, let's do another one that will go unzipped. Well, why don't we just, how about that? How about we do, oh, you a, do a Let's do a voicemail. What do we do? A, a, yeah, that, and then we'll go to unzip. Um, okay. Unless it's a bad voicemail, then we're going to have to get something good. We got to end on a high note before we go unzipped. That's true. All right, I'm going to have to. So here we go. This is, um, all right, I got an 18 second one, a minute and a half one, a 23 second, and a 43 second. You got any preference just here? Just try the short one. The shortest one, 18 who knows, seconds. Who knows which one's going to be good? So just the first one. Okay. Let it rip. Hangnails. Hangnails. Nose hairs. Pimples. F Mary Kill. Thank you. <laughs> okay, this is a, this is this is provocative. Did he say sex Mary Kill? No, he said F Mary Kill. Oh, okay. So hang nails, nose hairs, pimples. F Mary Kill. Oh, that's easy. Um I'll marry nose hairs. Really? I could live with that for life. Like those oh are Oh my god. Well, let me explain myself. Pimples has got to die. I'd rather have nose hairs than a pimple. Nose hair, you just trim it off. Big deal. Agree, agree, agree. I'll keep that for life. Pimples, yeah. kill. And then I guess if I'm going to have to F one of them, I guess it's going to be hangnails. I mean, there's a little something to do. You know, you can probably do something with that hangnail. <laughs> hangnails aren't. You know, I get them. Wait, a, a hangnail is is the skin, right? Is that what that is? I thought that's a good. Or are question. they the nail? I thought when, that... when you cut the nail, but then it kind of slivers off, and it's like, yeah, is it is that what a hangnail is? I, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's that. I know that, it or if it's it up. the skin. You know, the skin on the side. Or something. A hangnail is a tiny torn piece of skin next to a fingernail or a tongue. Yeah. Okay. Uh. I think that hangnails are not as annoying personally. Oh, as, that's yeah, that's I I have them I'm looking at them right here. That I think like, they're the hangnails are not as annoying as nose hairs. That's like when you have a uh, dry skin and you get a hangnail. Well, so look, marry I could marry nose hairs or hangnails, but probably you could just marry nose hairs cuz I could just trim those. You I could have. I don't really have once in a while I'll get a long ass one coming down. Are oh, those big nostrils? Yeah, I mean, I, nose hairs are really a thing. Gosh, they're I, annoying. It's never really ruined my day. A zit has ruined my day, my oh, week, my life. Get yeah, definitely. No, we well, don't want the pimples. Die. Pimples, but I'm just. But I think it's not necessarily about who. What do you? Who you want to live with? And it's about what turns you on sexually. <laughs> <laughs> nose hairs or or. Uh, or uh, the hangnails. Probably the hangnails because that's like a hand is probably more of a sensual um, part of the body than a nose for me. Uh-huh. Okay. So my, I stand by my answer. Okay. Hey, you know what? I I understand you on that in some way. Um, let's hit, hit us with another one. Then we'll, okay. go out, then we'll go out and then we'll go unzipped. Well, I this that same person left the forty three second message. I can well, we'll change it up. Oh, do a different person. A different person. Okay. Okay. Here's this twenty three second one. Hey, well, okay. This this is actually this person is referencing a different message they just left. So why don't I play that message? That's a longer. That's the minute and a half one. So. Um, no, we'll just pick a whole nother person then. Okay. Well, okay. Then I'll go, go back. They're like together. We should do. Yeah. Well, then I'll go to the, the, the other, the person who said the F Mary kill thing. And this is 43 seconds. I'm going to show you audio, Brent. Thank you. I, for, I messed that up. 
Um, I almost thought it was a butt dial because I just hear kind of people in the background talking. You know. Uh huh. Hey guys, um, you know how there's a bunch of euphemisms people use when they have to go to the bathroom, like they say, "I got to go drop the kids off at the pool for pooing," or uh, like "drain the main vein for peeing." Um, I just thought of a new one that I like, which is, "I got to go feed my toilet." It's a little more on the obvious side, but um, I like that it kind of makes your toilet kind of like having a pet, you know, something you got to take care of, you got to <laughs> feed it. Um, so I was wondering if you guys could think of any other um, bathroom colloquialisms that you think could catch on. Thanks. <laughs> I like it. I got to go feed the toilet. I got to go feed my toilet. I got to go feed and the it toilet. Doesn't, it doesn't, I like how it could be. It could be poo or pee, really. You know, the toilet could get either one. Oh, um, I, I, you know what? I think my toilet's thirsty. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go uh, serve. I gotta serve my toilet some drinks or a drink. Yeah, I gotta get my my toilet's waiting. You know, he ordered a drink, and I gotta go bring it to him. You know, what'd be funny is if you're out and about, and you know, you tell people, "Oh shoot, I gotta get back to my toilet." <laughs> you know. <laughs> Oh, I gotta go. Um, I gotta, I gotta feed my toilet. I, you know, I, I gotta. I, oh, my, to my, actually, my toilet, my toilet has been uh, uh, home alone for the last eight hours. I gotta get, you know, uh -huh. I gotta. I, I, I think he, I think my toilet is pretty hungry at this point. Yeah. I just thought of one. Yeah. I got target practice. You know. <laughs> all right. And that all could right, work right. for that could work for number one or number two. You know. Right, 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 right. That's another one. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good guitar. Uh, hey, I, I there's gotta, some other ones that I've heard before that I like. Like, I got to drop anchor. I got to take the Browns to the Super Bowl. Have you ever heard that one? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that one. That's good. I sometimes I say lay pipe. I got to go lay pipe, lay some pipe. Lay pipe, yeah. That's people say that about, don't they say that about sex or something? Yeah, I think so. But I say it for pooing, though. I got to lay some pipe. Just make sex ones be like for pooing. <laughs> like, I'm going to go knock boots, but I'm going to go knock. <laughs> well, no, you could just say knock boots. You know, it, it sort of makes sense. Yeah. I got to go. Um, well, you know how there's these sort of. You can go like this. Like, but what, what do people use? The, sorry to cut you off, but like. Say, um, I gotta go look at Instagram. I'll be right back. You know, it's like something you do on your phone on the toilet. Oh yeah, I gotta read the headline. I gotta read the news head. I got some news headlines to catch up. Oh, I'm gonna go read my book. Like you have a toilet book there. <laughs> right, right, right. I'm gonna go read my book. I'm I'm gonna go for a sit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have to sit down for a minute. I'll be right. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Um, I'm going to sit down for a minute. Um, I'll be, I'll, it might be more than a minute actually, but, or I'll have to do some thinking. I got some thinking to do. I got to loosen my belt for a minute. Um, I'll be right back. <laughs> loosen my belt. I've got to go. Uh, well, speaking of unzipped, it could be like, I got to, I got to go play with my zipper. <laughs> <laughs> How about I got it? I got it. I got to take a weight off or something like that. Or like, uh, I got to go lose I, weight. I got to lose weight. I got to, I got to lose some weight. <laughs> I got to go to Splash Mountain. Does it make sense to decompress? Huh? No, no. Decompress. I guess you gotta. Re I gotta... What about R and R? I need some R and R. I gotta take. I uh, guys, I'm gonna take two. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll be back in two and two. Hey, I gotta go do a love connection. I'll be back in two and two. A love connection. I gotta, I gotta go make a love connection. Remember, Chuck Will Will Willery would be like. We'll be back in two and two. Oh, does I never did that? Remember that. Did you ever watch that show? Yeah, but I don't remember that. Part. Every time they go to the commercial break, he's like, 
I'll be back in two and two. <laughs> um, I got to go make some content. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. How about this? I got to, I actually, I got to do some math or I got to crunch some numbers. <laughs> right. For number he, two. Well, number one or two. I mean, you know, it's like, oh, I got to go crunch some numbers. Well, I got to go mean, do some subtraction. Subtraction. I get it. You mean addition. <laughs> well, it's like you're subtracting it from your body or something. Oh, right. But you're also kind of adding it to the toilet. Um, how about your, um, also, how about I got to do some accounting <laughs> or like, I, I got to do my taxes. <clears throat> how about this? I got to go get some shit wet. I'll be right back. It's <laughs> <laughs> so gross. Get some <laughs> shit wet. <laughs> how about this? I got to. I got to take a dip and meaning you dip your poo into the, and you know, you're dipping your poo or something like that. Got to get my poo. The Spanish word there was like, yo tengo dos. <laughs> yo tengo dos. Tengo dos. <laughs> tengo dos. How about this one though? Um, I got to, I got to mix some, I got to mix some paint. So when you mix <laughs> colors together, it makes brown. Usually it makes brown, you know, when you mix colors together. So it's, yeah, I got to mix some paint. I got to do some art. <laughs> right. I like this one where somebody, somebody said they just went to the bathroom. You'd be like, did you get your paperwork done? You know, like, you know, the toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got to do some paperwork. I got to, <laughs> that's really good. I got to do some paperwork. <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> How about this? I got to do some origami. Cause you kind of like folding the papers together. Well, also you kind of have to, I got to read the paper because sometimes, I mean, you know, on some, <laughs> you, you some of those whites, you got to look to see if you of are course, doing wiping. You gotta, yeah. Kind of reading the, I got to read the paper, but also that works because sometimes people do read the newspaper on the toilet. Yeah. You know? Um, all right, Brent, we've done about an hour and, uh, yeah, let's, let's go to after dark. So we got to go, um, unzipped is what it is. So yeah, that's what I meant. We're going to keep, we have a whole list of annoyances to, to, and voicemails to go through lots more. Probably won't even get through them. I have but, a text look, message also. If you want to, if you want to keep listening and support us and become part of the Poundcast family. Go to patreon.com slash poundcast and uh, sign up. That could be your New Year's resolution. And check this out. Today's show was brought to you with help from Jack Birch. He edited the show. And um, I'm not even sure what his Instagram is now. Uh, it is something different. I think I could look that up right now. I think <laughs> something like a... Uh, hmm. It was something like, oh gosh, what was it? Oh, I, I can look it up right now. You know, I'm looking it up here. Let's see. But if not, dang, but, I don't know what it is? No, I can. I, I know where to find it. But um, uh, it is his is it's sweetjack.com and dot. It's when I say dot, I it's spelled out D O T. Okay. Sweet Jack D O T com C O M. Okay. Yeah. Sweetjack.com all written out. That's his Instagram. Check him out. We'd like to thank also would like to thank Jack, Jackie Montana, a couple of different variations of the name Jack. Yeah. And they, uh, Jackie helps us out with our, um, Instagram and social media stuff. And we also have someone helping us out with TikTok. TikTok. Daniel Daniel Avila. Thank you, Daniel. And um, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter are The Poundcast. Check that out. Uh, Patreon.com slash The Poundcast if you want to keep listening. No, 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 no. No, no Patreon.com just slash, slash podcast. Poundcast. Yeah, I, I got all these. Yeah, they, they've heard it a thousand times. They'll find yeah, they it. sure have. Um, yeah, I think that's it. That's about it. So, so we'll we'll see you over there in a little bit. This this uh, unzipped man. We're gonna get unzipped.
get unzipped right now. Otherwise, we'll see you next week. Hey, that's a, a way to go to the bathroom. Is uh, hey, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta unzip, or I gotta go unzipped. Yeah, I gotta go record my my my. Uh, I have to make a Patreon post. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye bye. Doug and Brent, talking to each other. Doug and Brent, what will they talk about today? Doug and Brent, are talking to some pimples. Doug and Brent, will talk to their friends. And Doug and Brent.